Angie, well, what if we told you there was a test that could tell if you were infected with the coronavirus in as little as five minutes, not days, minutes? Well, it's now available in our area at the Virginia Hospital Center, which is one of the first in the nation to use this test. And joining us this morning, Dr. Jeff DeLisi, he's the senior VP and chief medical officer for VHC, and he's here to tell us all about it. Um, doctor, good morning. I could jump right out of this seat with the possibilities if, if this is accurate. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So, so yeah, we're, how does uh, we're this really... test... I'm sorry? How does this test work? Tell us how it came about. I'll leave it to you. Yeah. So uh, we're, we're really excited to have the Abbott, Abbott Rapid uh, COVID test here at Virginia Hospital Center. Um, we were able to get that about a week or so ago. And as you said, we can get rapid results for patients uh, and get them the result whether they have COVID-19 or not. Uh, in as little as five minutes, uh, usually the test takes about five to 15 minutes. It is a nasal swab, um, much like the tests that have been going on all around the country, but we have a small point of care device that allows us to run the test very quickly uh, and detect whether the patient has it or not. So it's been a really wonderful test for us to get here. Um, we're able to identify very quickly uh, patients coming into our ER that have COVID-19, get them into the right floor, get them the right supportive care, so we can try to get them better as quickly as possible. And uh, Dr. Delisi, it seems to me that, you know, this went from almost feast to famine as far as, um, as something that could really tell if you've been exposed or if you are in the clear pretty quickly. But is that just me as an outsider? What was going on behind the scenes that, v, uh, that VHC was able to get this rapid test? Well, you know, as you've heard on the news, it's not everywhere at the current moment. I think one of the things that we've been uh, sort of on a cutting edge of getting into some of the larger trials um, for some of the new treatments for COVID-19. So we're one of the about 150 sites globally that are part of the Gilead Remdesivir trial. Um, so we're really excited to be part of that. And we certainly okay. uh, wanted to make sure that Abbott knew that as well. Um, but yes, it's become much easier to get tests run for patients. And uh, it's amazing how quickly things have changed in even just a couple weeks. Absolutely. Okay, here, I got to run through these questions. How can you get it? Where can you get it? Who can get it? Just all those basic points for people watching. Yeah, so we're, we're performing the rapid point of care test uh, on our campus right now. Um, and we're using it mostly for patients that are admitted to our hospital. So one of the uh, great things about this and one of the big changes we've seen in our own hospital just in the last couple of weeks is before when we would bring someone into our hospital, admit them upstairs to one of our beds, it would take two, three or four days to get a test result back. So as you might imagine, we had to use a lot of the protective gear, the PPE that you've heard so much about, waiting to find out whether that patient was truly positive or truly negative. This test allows us to know that quest the answer to that question before the patient even leaves the ER. So we've been really focusing on uh, those patients being admitted to our, uh, into our hospital as sort of the first line of, of patients to get that test rapidly. Um, we're gonna be sort of rolling it out a little bit more widespread probably to most anybody admitted through our hospital. Again, so we can make sure that our staff and other patients are safe and we can uh, contain any uh, contain the patients that may have this in one place to keep them safe and keep staff safe and keep other patients safe in our hospital. And then as we get more of the tests and get more comfortable with it, uh, we'd like to use it for patients that just come in to say, get a surgery done uh, on the same day where we could again know very quickly whether they have it or not so we can make sure that the staff and other patients in the hospital are safe. Pretty incredible. Thanks so much for uh, sharing this with us. And we'll be in, we'll be in touch because there are so many more questions now, but this glimmer of hope is so refreshing. You can find out more about all of this by going to vhcupdates.com. Thank you so much for joining us, Angie. Thank you. The NFL